I know you stay right there, you, want, you didn't want to move because it, it, it has all your attention as, as it called mine yesterday when I met Mr. Alonso. Uh, we have been talking about a few things very interesting. I will never imagine in my country, uh, that's what I talk about. Police, police. police people uh, like telling young people how to race, how to drive, where to do it. And I really feel very identified with this uh, program, Beat the Heat. When we stopped after the break, we were talking about when you were called uh, to know and to develop this program. Yeah, let's keep on talking about, about it. When I was asked to look at this program, we're going back 2003. My first reaction was actually not. I knew the work that were involved That's every weekend. But just as I said no, I had a very close friend and family, as we talked earlier, a uh, passenger in the back seat of the car, a, a uh, license 200 speed, a serpentine type of roadway, went off the road and hit a tree. He did not die, but he came, they say he died three times actually in the way to the hospital. His future plans in life, gone. As a Taekwondo expert, trained for the uh, Olympics, everything he had planned for his life was gone. And when that happened, that was a wake-up call for me. To let me know, hey, I've got to step up and do what I can do to prevent this. And when, I, when I tell the young drivers, I'm not saying no race. I'm saying let me show you how to do it safely and legally in a real race. Because like I said earlier, it doesn't make a difference to me if you're part faster or slower. What can you as a driver do? And if you're out there as a driver and you really think you're a good driver, come out and challenge some of the police officers. Remember, we're not racers. We're cops. But we would love to race you. So come on out and challenge us. Join us. Be part of it. I have a good question. Uh, is Beat uh, the Heat only in Florida? Or I, I think it's every all, all over. All over. All over. All over. Heat. Pretty much every state in the country has Beat the Heat. Oh. If it doesn't have that state, the state next door does. And this one. Beat the Heat, Georgia, Texas, Oklahoma, Ohio, uh, Tennessee, the Carolinas, California. We, we are a very large organization. We do meet once a year. And that's a great event, too. All the teams meet once a once year? Once a year. Wow. Once a year we there have... are a lot of people. <laughs> Believe me. And you raised that year? Yes. Nice. Once, once a year we have what's called the Beat the Heat Rules Fund. And that is what, that's <laughs> our, our fun time. Whoa. At the Beat the Heat Rolls Finals, what we do is it's a week-long event. Uh, for us, as the drivers, educators, instructors, we have uh, a you can, couple. You can beat one Yes, that's the only time. Oh, my God. Only, only, that time. only that time. And that is what we have some in-house training, some classes. And after we get through all of that, we usually have a community outreach where we make new events for whatever charity that local agency wants us involved in. But the weekend is when we get to, the Friday we race the locals, but the Saturday we get to race each other. And that's that's amazing. And this year for 2020, or coming up 2012, our World Finals is going to be held right where it started 20 years ago in Gainesville, Florida. Nice. Yeah, nice. What, kind of cars, cars, what kind of cars uh, uh, are you guys racing? I know this kind of good. So well, I run this kind of pickups. I've got uh, an 85 S10 pickup. Country. And we're in the process of uh, this weekend, actually, we said earlier while we're here, of building two more new body style S10 pickups. Why pickups? Why not a regular car? Well, this, I didn't want Hello? to pick up. I didn't want to pick up, let me tell you how that <laughs> When I looked into the program, by the way, Beat the Heat, although the Sheriff's Office is a great partner, and they really help us promote the program, we, at our choice, make it a privately funded program so that we have minimal tax dollars going into what we do. The Sheriff's Office for us helps us with educational materials, handouts, flyers. When it comes to the actual race cars, the people that are here with us today, Rich Rods, Barton, Barton Performance Engines, JW Transmissions, MSD, all of these companies are here with us today. They're the ones that believe in what we do and they say that we're going to help you. Thank you. Help us with parts, they help us with labor. So that's what keeps the program Going. But the car that I won, the S10 pickup, and how that came to be was, as I was working as part of this program, again, for nothing, uh, I didn't want to pick up, why a pickup? Why? Yeah. Pick up. I, I agree, why a pickup? And here's what happened with the pickup. A, a good friend that was 
good fight in the family, not, not that I knew him too well. Fight in the family. Um, when I spoke to him about what I wanted to do, all I asked for him was his help. And he said to me, I really believe in your program. Follow me, I'm going to show you something. And he takes me to a backyard garage and shows me what used to be many years ago a pickup that was arrested. It had been sitting for a while, and he said, if you will race this, I will donate it to your program. Wow. Well, and you, you, you would not say no. I'm not going to say no to that. At that time, you didn't have a car, right? At that time, I didn't even have a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we started. We put the uh, little basket pick on nice. And we always, I call it the little truck that could. That little truck has won championships all over the country. No. Uh, it's a very, very consistent, strong, well no. built truck. And it's beautiful, too. <laughs> it's yeah, very unique. Really the paint job, speaking of my truck. Again, where, where can people see pictures and all that? To see, to see my truck on Facebook, you can go to Palm Beach County BT Hill on Facebook. Okay. Also, we have our own site, which is BTHBBC. BTHBBC.com, and it all links. Nice. But my truck, when you look at it, there's a story behind it. Apart from how it came to be, <laughs> it's got a real fancy paint job. Real fancy paint job. I couldn't afford that paint job. <laughs> I went to a local shop, a uh, split image in West Palm Beach, Florida, and I spoke to the owners about doing some kind of simple paintwork. And the owner of split image, as we were having this conversation and telling him what paint the heat was all about, he got pretty emotional, a little bit of teary eyed, and he shared a very sad story with me. He said, he said to me, Gosh, he's hard. He said, Two months ago, my niece was the passenger in the front seat of a Camaro, street racing, when that Camaro hit a tree, my niece went to the windshield and was killed. And he told me at the time, if you will allow me to put her picture on your race car, I will paint your race car in her memory and her own. Oh. Wow, and, and that's the I mean, paint, the paint that it has now? Yes. It has a beautiful, beautiful paint job. I'm afraid to even drive it because it's a nice paint job. Yes. But if you go to our website, Facebook the website, and you look at the picture that's right behind both uh, doors, the post behind the uh -huh, doors, uh -huh. is a picture of a very pretty young girl, probably 17 years old, and that was the young girl that uh, was killed. Went through a windshield, in a tree, and uh, did not survive that accident. This is such a nice message that everybody has to uh, take out there and, and tell and tell uh, each, each another. Because, like I tell you, Mr. Alonso, I will be contacting you to see if we can develop this program in Latin America, maybe in Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and all those islands. Because today, kids, they, their conscience is not in a good place. They're racing in the streets, and with your program, that I know is uh, giving some good results. Definitely, we can have a better tomorrow in our streets. We have a lot of young, mostly, mostly boys, but now girls are in the race as well. Females have to get involved as too. We have a lot of young men and women that are going through the program. We've gone to high school and colleges, and we not only had them come race with us, but we had them become part of our team. And we've said, hey, come spend time with us. Let me show you how to do it the right way. Street racing is not for anybody can do that. Let me show you the right way. And now these kids are off to college. I keep up with them on Facebook, emails. They stay in touch with me. That's good. Great. Yes. Their, their futures are going in a yeah. wonderful direction. If you're watching, keep it up. Keep letting me know how you're doing. And you guys are doing a great job. Thank you very much. I look forward to going to Yes. You're going you're over there. You, you will. Taking. And you don't go anywhere. Stay, stay tuned with GoRacingTV.com. Thank you again, Lieutenant Alonso. It's been a pleasure to have you us, uh, with us on the stage. Thanks to Mazda and Cooper Tire. And we still have a, a lot of hours to go. Uh, sadly, it's the last day of the PRI show. But just remember, everybody, stay away from the uh, street and race on a safe place. Beat race the on heat. the track. Beat the heat. Race the Give me one more guess.